this video, I'm going to explore motorcycle battery ratings and what they mean. When looking at a motorcycle battery, the box and the outer casing will contain various pieces of information. Batteries are rated according to a range of specifications and standards. Understanding these ratings and their relevance to the battery's application and operating conditions is key to selecting the right battery. Let's start with voltage. Motorcycle batteries can be either 6 or 12 volt. These batteries are not interchangeable and you must use a battery that meets the specific requirements of your bike. Using the battery lookup tool on either the GS or UASA website will confirm which is correct for your application. Ampere hour, or AH for short, refers to the battery's storage capacity, and there's two ratings you're likely to see. The first is ampere hour at 20 hours. At 25 degrees C, the battery must achieve greater than 20 hours of discharge at a given load, down to a cutoff voltage of 10.5 volts. For example, a 100 amp hour battery delivering five amps for 20 hours. The second is ampere hour at 10 hours. The 100 amp hour battery delivers 10 amps for 10 hours. The more accessories that are in use, the faster the available battery energy is consumed. Consumption of the battery's capacity is referred to as discharging. Cold cranking amps is a measurement of the maximum current a fully charged battery can deliver at minus 18 degrees C. It is used to determine a battery's ability to supply high cranking current to start the engine and maintain sufficient voltage to power the ignition requirements under severe cold starting conditions. Temperature plays a key role in a battery's ability to deliver CCA. Alongside these, motorcycle batteries also display a charging method table. This will show the standard or normal charging rate, for example, five to 10 hours at 1.1 amp. They will also show a quick or a rapid charge rate, for example, one hour at 5.5 amp. A plus or minus symbol indicates the polarity of each terminal. Some batteries also feature upper and lower level markings to indicate the maximum and minimum electrolyte levels for ease of maintenance. Batteries can also carry hazard warning icons and symbols. These can include the following. Note the operating instructions. Eye protection must be worn. Keep away from children. No smoking, no naked flames, no sparks. Explosive gases, corrosive and poisonous. Contains lead. Never dispose of as domestic waste. Battery is recyclable. If the battery contains sulfuric acid, it will also carry an ADR or REACH label. Sulfuric acid is a chemical that is legislated under both REACH and ADR regulations in order to provide a high level of protection to human health and the environment. Finally, it's not always easy to determine the age of a battery in service unless you know the date on which it was purchased. There may be visual clues as to the age and condition of the battery. However, the only way to be sure of your battery's state of health is to get it tested at a reputable workshop or battery retailer. If you are looking for a replacement battery, it is important to factor in your bike specifications and your own riding habits. For more information, visit gs-uasa.eu or check out our other videos.